Hey guys, Jacques here. Happy New Year. With the start of this new year, I'm also starting a new clock design. I always wanted to improve the length that my clocks were running, so I started a design from scratch. There'll be a drum up here. There's three train gears to the escapement. Hands will be powered. There'll be a shaft in between here and a ratchet and the uh, hands will be powered from this gear here. It will be the same design for the front as this Galileo clock. Power comes from this shaft to this gear, comes to the front to this gear. There's a one to one ratio here for the minutes and then there's a 12, one to 12 ratio for the hour hand. I'm exploring different options. This or this. The way it works in the assembly, have the sketch here, and I can still move this sketch and try different combination. If I move those lines, the the shafts are attached to those points with local coordinate system, and then it this comes up. So I can move that sketch and place this. The the frame here it's a 200 millimeters square so it can fit on my printer. I want to keep the corner free so I can put bolts or connectors here for the back frame to the front frame. I'm debating for the escapement. I haven't designed the escapement yet. I uh, imported the step file from Fusion 360 and then maybe I can change it this way so it's more inside the frame. Or this or something like this put some circles here to have an idea of how much room I need then move the gears accordingly that could work the challenge with this is this shaft here could not go from the back frame to the front frame whereas this could have all the axes go through the whole way. Other things I'll do is I'll probably put bearings on the drum because it will carry a lot of weight and piano wire for the other shafts to minimize friction. I've been experimenting with the animation, see if I could animate the clock. For the pendulum I found an easy way. I just have a crank that turns and a rod that moves the pendulum makes it fairly realistic. Pendulum and the escape wheel combination that's much more challenging, that's the closest I've been. That would work for a Galileo escapement. Yeah, this stop and go motion with the sliding of the pallets against the escape wheel combined with the inertia of the pendulum, it's not that simple. So yes, the animation of a Mechanical clock is not that easy to do. There's a viewer who asked me the files of this clock and he's going to try to do an animation in Creo simulation. I'm quite curious to see what he can come up with. That's it for today. I hope to see you next time with uh, more progress on my new clock. And uh, Please like, subscribe so you can see the progress on my clock. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.